Hey guys, as some of you know, I was recently in Austin for South by Southwest, and as much as I would love to review everything I saw there, there's only so much time of the day. So I'm going to settle on two titles that I'm especially eager to talk about. And the first review I'm going to give you is for a movie called Yes, God, Yes. And it stars Natalia Dyer, who you might know from Stranger Things. In this, she plays Alice, a 16-year-old living in the Midwest, who was, as the official synopsis describes, raised to be a good Catholic girl. But when she winds up dabbling in cybersex in an AOL chat, she becomes super conflicted, not knowing whether to bury those feelings or to acknowledge them. There is actually a short film called Yes, God, Yes, that you could watch online right now if you want. But the director behind the movie and the short version as well, Karen Main, she actually wrote the feature first. And then after the success of that short film, then she got the opportunity to bring the full story to screen. And I'm thrilled she did because... I think Yes, God, Yes plays as a great, sweet, and funny coming-of-age story for me as an adult, but it was also making me think that this wouldn't have been a bad film to have back when I was growing up as well. I did really enjoy the nostalgia for AOL use in the late 90s and early 2000s, plus the movie has some super funny beats to it, and it's also really poignant. Whether you've got a religious upbringing or not, Yes, God, Yes just speaks to anyone dealing with anything that seems taboo and just makes them feel kind of alone in the world. And a lot of that sensation does come through Dyer's performance. After the initial AOL encounter, her character goes on a religious retreat. And that experience for her is basically just a ton of internal processing, observing those around her and feeling judged by them. And her performance really lets you feel part of it all. You see the wheels turning in her head and you feel the conflict she struggles with when wondering whether or not to admit to her true feelings. Dyer is surrounded by a great ensemble here, almost all of which makes an impression and also contributes quite a bit to Alice's arc throughout the film. But so much of Yes, God, Yes is on Dyer's shoulders, and she really does excel with a fairly quiet, nuanced performance. Main's touch as the director serves the whole scenario really well, too. It is a very strong feature debut, and it exudes confidence. The one thing I do suspect might rub some the wrong way is how it treats Alice's Catholic upbringing. A bit dismissively, to be frank, the movie overall justifies Alice's journey and why it was right for her. But if that's an important element of your life, its treatment here could be a little off-putting. That wasn't really the case for me personally, though. And I wound up landing on three and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale for Yes, God, Yes. It is a teeny bit predictable, and it does feel like it's teetering on the edge of digging deeper at certain times. And... Some of those times I did find myself wanting to see it go there, but it still works very well with Maine keeping it light, especially because she maintains such a strong and consistent tone and style the whole way through. It is charming, tender, funny, very engrossing, and I found it to be a fairly successful story about finding yourself and also staying true to what feels right to you. So. There it is, guys, my review of Yes, God, Yes. Hit the comment section below and tell me if you are interested in seeing it. And before I say goodbye right now, I've got a shout out for a group on my G chat tier, and they are Seth, Tony, Aviel, and Neil. Guys, thank you so much for being here. You will hear it over and over again if you're not sick of it already. I really do appreciate the support you give this channel. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Thanks to everybody out there watching this review, too. Do not forget to like and share it and keep an eye out for some more South by Southwest coverage coming your way on this channel real soon.